Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel and uh, I'm going to be continuing with my realistic drawing tutorial here. I do have to tell you that uh, I'm going to be time lapsing the majority of this because there is several hours of work that I have filmed and I'm putting it all together in this one video. We're going to go all the way uh, to the other eye by the end of this video and if I was doing it real time, seriously, you would all have grown gray beards yes you too ladies that can happen now anyway to be serious so i'm going to have to uh time last this but i will slow it down uh if there is a reason to do so at various parts and i will narrate this so uh most definitely uh not all is lost okay so let's get into it There is no right or wrong time to add small details and so as I'm going along here I'm using a uh, 9xxb pencil and I also use a charcoal pencil as I'm doing right there and I'm going to put in just a few of the uh, freckles and uh, later on when I go and blend over it it'll, it'll blend it down a little bit but it, it gives me at least some idea of where I am uh, measurement wise in the uh, drawing so by just having various little details um, it just kind of gives me some kind of a reference and at the same time I'm, I'm getting some of the details done because as you can see on her face she has a lot of freckles and I'm going to have to get to it sooner or later so I, I, I'll bounce around Okay, then I'm going to use my electric eraser pen here to just kind of bring out some of those uh, highlights around the eye. Okay, and this is a handy little tool, the grayscale and value finder. Just making sure here that uh, I'm relatively close to the tone of the uh, original. Okay, so I'm using a graphite pencil here and then I'm going to uh, use a kneaded eraser to just kind of give it a little spotting because you can see that she doesn't just have one tone. She has a variation of tone on her face and so you can see that I'm bringing out spots, taking some of that graphite right back off that I just laid down using the kneaded eraser. Okay, here I'm using the extra hard charcoal pencil and you can see that I can interchangeably go between graphite and charcoal 
as long as I put it on lightly and then I'm able to pull it off really easy with the kneaded eraser. And if you look really closely in the skin, can you see that there are different shades here? You can see little light patches, darker patches, and so forth. And so it's this variation that gives a, a realism to the uh, drawing. So I'm back again with the graphite and using it to just give a slight tone overlay to some of the areas that I've taken out a lot. And uh, it, it's just a back and forth thing and uh, you just keep looking at the uh, original and um, adjust as you go along. Now the kneaded eraser isn't the only erasing tool that I'll use for this kind of purpose in detail. Here the Mono Zero eraser, pen eraser, works really great for little details. And just as pencil can leave sharp marks, erasers can do the same. So it's always good to go back in and do a little blending, even if you're using an eraser to kind of blend that out as well. Now I'm taking my extra hard pencil here to draw in just the dark shaded areas of the nose. So instead of drawing the whole outline of a nose, uh, which I really do resist drawing lines, this way I can get the shading part, the dark shadow part of the nose, so I have something down uh, for further reference and of course to, to get this drawing moving along. Okay, now I'm going to start with the other eye. Hooray! And as usual, I'll start with mostly the dark areas of the eye before I go into the midtones and the uh, highlights. Now 
Now I've shown this technique before, going in with a dark charcoal pencil and then using a blender to take some of that material and to push it away from the dark area. And that way you give it a gradient look. Uh, it goes lighter and lighter as it moves away from the dark area. Here I'm using graphite uh, for the very light areas, moving away from the, uh, the eye over to the bridge of the nose. And of course, I'm going to blend that as well. I don't know if I'll do it in the, yep, I'm going to do it there. There it is. Okay, trying to remember everything I did here. And for the most part, that the dark areas of the eye will be done in charcoal. Okay, and this is where I ended one session and started another session. And I'm going to start off with my Conte charcoal pencil here, the 3B. Give it a nice point because I'm going to be doing details in this eye. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. When you're doing this kind of detail work in the eye, very important that you have a very sharp point on your charcoal pencil. Now the paper blender works really well here as it uh, allows you to draw, but uh, it, it allows you to do so with a light shading using the material that is already on the paper. And you just kind of move it around and uh, I use both sides of this because on one side it's lighter than the other and I try to keep it that way. So I have a mark on my, you can see that little black band, that's telling me that's the darkest side 
because I have more charcoal material on that uh, blender on that side. And then here there's the lighter side and that's when I get closer to the iris of the eye. Uh, I'm, I want just a little lighter tone. And so I just kind of use the two together and, and move it around with the blender. And I think it just works really well when working with the white of the eye. Now, although the white of the eye is never white, you'll notice that uh, some parts of it will be lighter than others. And I will use the kneaded eraser to lighten it as you get closer to the iris. And that gives the more rounded look. So I'll be doing that back and forth here, as you can see right now. And if you compare it to the other eye, you can see where it is brighter as it is closer to the center, but goes darker as it goes to the outside of the eyeball. And that is, of course, uh, what you see in real life uh, because the eyeball is, is rounded. And so it'll be brighter as it's closer to us as the viewer. And then, of course, it gets darker as it goes off to the edges. And I will be doing the same thing here uh, to this eye that I'm working on. Blending with a Q-tip really helps smooth the tones out so that you don't have really jagged uh, transitions, but you have more uh, smooth transitions between light and dark areas uh, around the iris here. Now, I really love using the extra hard charcoal pencil for sharp edges. And when you're doing this around the highlights, it really allows those highlights to pop. Okay, we're coming to the end of this video session. And uh, I'm going to have to continue in the next video. Uh, this has been several hours uh, to put this one together, so uh, I appreciate your patience. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll know when I upload my next part of this tutorial. And give me a like if you like this, and I really do appreciate you dropping in and watching. Leave comments down below. You know I respond to every one of them, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.